It was in the year 2017 where Fire Emblem Road to Ruin was finished by Fire Emblem 7 ROM Hack by Prime Fusion. I'm your host, Pondon, and today we're going to continue on by retrying Chapter 8. So we died last time. We learned a couple things. Specifically, that there's a Killing Edge Myrmidon that I'm scared of, haunting my dreams. Um, we're still going to bring Kristoff because... He took some hits like a champ, and Buck hits like a wet noodle at this point. So, yeah. So we're doing that. Then... I feel pretty good about what we tried to do last time. I'm gonna speed things up a little bit just to get through it. Lucille, though. I'll turn these off for now. Let's um, just see who needs to be turned on. Samuel. Yeah, let's uh, we'll keep those off for now. We'll do a little axe reaver. Some action. You get it? All right now. Weapon level increasing. Steel lance. I'm really scared of the effective weapons here. Now this seems so good. My god. No, that wasn't as good of a level up though. Mm, not crazy about those hit rates. Corvin takes a big heal. Yorin. Braxton. Kristoff? Ava. Yeah, we like Ava up here with the Iron Sword. Good advance down. We're just moving everyone in. Not a great first turn, I gotta say. Like When you're when you don't have that much to do in your first turn, it's a bit of a drag, like it's clear like so far that Prime is a little bit more comfortable with these smaller deployments, but even still, like you want to make sure your maps have like a pretty engaging first turn because it's the turn that people are inevitably going to play the most. Um, ooh, that might be bad for Melissa. I probably should have put someone in front of her. Uh, let's see, how does she do against this Hand Axe guy? The Hand Axe guy will probably only go for her if he can kill, which he probably can because he's a buff fighter, dude. Let's see. But yeah, the first turn should be engaging because it's going to be the one the player inevitably plays the most and it'll probably be the longest. Yep, like that. So, let's, uh, let's do that again. My bad. Actually, hang on a sec. Let's restart one more time. We're just gonna erase data. No, we're gonna go super hard with Ava on this first turn. Because... Yeah, I like this move. Alright. Yes, deploy Lucille. Yeah. Like, a first turn needs to be good. Not, this first turn isn't bad, don't get me wrong, but... Like, look how many enemies are actually in range of my dudes to fight on the first turn. It's not very many, which is a bit of a shame. Kinda wanna bring a crit, but it's okay. Nice weapon level increase. Alright, so... Samuel... Kristoff. Something big. Alright, now... I kind of just want to go in. It probably gets your poop wrecked here. If we go for that Merc. It's a little bit of a false choice. Ooh, the crit. Melusine. Hello. Better level up this time, though. No. Okay. I mean, more bulk on you is nice. It's a bit of a learning experience. Seven defense on my Acolyte. It's pretty nifty now. Let's see. Steel Lance here. Ava. Just gonna go in over here, I think. Get a crit for me, girl. Oof. On command. And everyone else can just, like, pretty comfortably move in at this point. There's part of me that wants to promote Lenora. 
But she's still quite a ways away. So I guess there's really no rush. Mm, let's see. Kristoff. Yeah, Kristoff here. So he can do something big. And then... Sylvia... This guy can reach the forest, right? I'm okay with putting... I almost called him Troy. I don't know. Is there a brigand named Troy? I forget. Oh, yeah. Troy from Souls of the Forest. Yeah, we're gonna put Troy on the forest there. Souls of the Forest, Troy. As these guys come in and do their thing. Oh, I'd still rather go after Yorin than Hugo. What does that tell you? Hugo from Souls of the Forest. And Troy from Road to Ruin. Alright, Ava's gonna just do some some Jagany chip here. Pull these guys in, which I'm actually cool with. Nice. <laughs> when you're Jagan crits and then get crits to gift wrap, you know you're in a good place, right? Let's see. Ava. Absolute monster. Oh, here come the monks. Dude, these monks are mean to these armor knights, man. They're just so mean. Like, I had no chance, man. Like, I had absolutely no chance. I'm also surprised that, like, these two generals don't have more guys on their side. Like, two cabs and two armor knights for two generals of two different countries? Like, come on. Look, Axum just has a, so many dudes just at this defense point. Alright. The captain bails. Othrell is still kind of a tool. Now, Hugo. Yeah, I like this for Hugo. Samuel. Ooh, look at that. Look at this. Here we go, Melu. Okay, that's gonna be gift wrapped for someone else. Something big. Wow, Kristoff! He's a madman. Truly. Corvin, clean that up. Got a flux tone. Okay, put Ava on the forest here. Lenora, doing the big heels here. So, how we feeling? You're good, you're good. No reason to push too hard right now. Iron Axe for defense, and then you can visit. We got a Dragon Shield, which is nice. So we'll just kind of float over here. I do kind of like the idea of Tori pulling those guys over away so that that area, that area is a little bit less of a cluster. But it didn't really do too much for me last time. Oh, the Iron Sword's gone. Rip. And that's fine. Because look at just like how much of a cluster this part of the map is. And you're kind of rushing to that point a bit because that's right around like when Russell and his crew arrive. It's like Russell, Raisin, and then like their units who sponge hits for them in enemy phase. Green units. Alright, now. No, you on scene though? Yeah. Alright, so Killing Edge Merm, you're still down here, yeah? You're spooky scary. You're in Crystal Lance. Steel Great Lance. Alright, so we want you here with your hand axe. You here with your iron axe. Braxton. Okay, Lenora can heal up Melu. It's a little bit of like a waiting game here, but that's okay. Alright, we don't need to take that forest with anyone. Sylvia, heal up Ava. I'm looking forward to getting a Lance Reaver, that'll be really nice. Kristoff. Uh, Kristoff is hungering for more. Lucille, okay, and then Tori. Alright, 
So these guys will move in on me. Traveling, pure water. Let's see. No one uses pure waters, man. I think they're nifty. They're really nifty. It's barrier, staff, and a pocket. Uh-oh. Yeah, these guys are like, screw your units, they're green units to kill. I am a little worried about losing out on this energy ring, though. That didn't happen to me last time. And I'm pretty sure I played at the same pace. Now, what's tricky about this part is this is gonna be like, it's a pretty like big front to have to defend against. Okay, this guy comes up close. All right, now we can clean, we can clean that up. These other cats are moving in. Tori actually has a lot of wiggle room here. All right, Russell. Yeah, there's enough of these other guys to kill. So now the question is, how do I get this energy ring without... I think I could do it with Samuel and Melusine and then defend them or do like some rescue dropping to like keep them out of range. Because this is like... Yeah, we're, they're in the kill zone right now. So... Okay, yeah, let's try... Right, let's, let's get the animations back on. I know what you're thinking. Oh, no. Let's get him on. Yeah. And then let's do a little Samuel. Probably should have checked this, but we're just gonna go for it. It's Fire Emblem. Nice, yeah. Now you can clean that up. Get the big experience there. And then we can do some maneuvering. Having mages now is so nice, man. Big gains. Energy ring, very nice. All right, now we want to do, let's see. So ideally Corvin's the only one in range here. Rescue, which might not end up happening. Actually we can do, ooh, watch this, watch this. Okay, so. Now, this guy is safe. All right, so now we can do this. Kristoff. Nice. Kristoff. All right, so we can move up Vance and Ava, I think, here. I don't really have much reason to. Steel Axe. Braxton's going to be under some heat. So I'm thinking Ava to alleviate that with the training sword. Everyone else is full. Alright, this is going to be an interesting turn. Now, you, how do you do here? You're fine, actually. So let's see, let's give you the forest. Let's clean this guy up. Tori, going off. Okay. That's not too bad, actually, for Steel Axe Armor Knight. Braxton's got pretty solid defenses. I might be sleeping on him a little bit as a unit, but I, I benched him last time I played, I think. This game just doesn't give you a lot of room to work with all these different units you get, which is a bit unfortunate, but it also does create a little bit more replay value and just, like, picking your team. But that's fine. Let's see. Yeah, this is super comfy. What's gonna suck though is that now that this guy attacked Corvin, he's so dead on the enemy phase. So we're gonna lose that killing edge probably, unless those calves kind of block him. Cause he's in total death range. So that kind of sucks. That's not the best design, but I guess it's an incentive to try and rush. Crystal sword. Look at Yorin still doing 10 damage with the iron sword. Like none of these units are really that bad. Which is nice. I gotta give Prime credit. Like, none of the units are, like, abysmal. Kristoff's the only one who's, like, kind of just gets outclassed immediately. Alright, so... Look at Corvin dodging. Dude, terrain is the name of the game. Yeah, the Killing Edge guy is super dead. Okay, Ava. Big damage from Ava here. That's fine. Work on that sword rank. 
Or Slayer Corvin, the meta move? Alright, Paladin Man. Ooh, hello, Steelax. Yeah, this guy's tricky with his weapon triangle shenanigans. Alright, Tori's gonna want to bail. Oh, hello, Corvin. Uh oh. Still only six damage on, from the mage? That's wild. From the monk. And this is this is crazy enemy phase. This is like some maniac mode tier enemy phase. Just look at this turn, man. And it's just like death by a thousand cuts. And Corvin just like stands tall on the terrain. It's a madman. All right, let's see. All right, this knight's gonna run away to heal himself. Russell and Raisin. Oh, he goes for the calf. Raisin, don't go for the merm. Yes, he doesn't go for the merm. Ah, uh, super clutch. Thank you. Thank you, green units. All right, look at this, man. Just look at this cluster of enemies. This is crazy. All right, first order of business is... How do you do with this? Not worth it. All right, so we're gonna bail. Tori is gonna bail. Crystal Lance, heal up. Now. Alright, so I think I still want Corvin here. And let's just make sure we get this. Yeah. We got the Killing Edge, which is super clutch. Uh, do I want the Killing Edge now? Yeah, we can ditch the javelin. Now, Braxton, Yorn, Ava, Vance. Watch this. Killing edge time. Short blade's a guarantee, but I kind of want to save it for later. Let's go. Killing edge Vance? Yes. So satisfying. Good level. Good level. Vance is really starting to turn it up, which I'm happy about. Samuel can pick this guy off. Nice and clean. Excellent. We just gotta put ourselves into a slightly better defensive position here. This is a bit of like a... We're kind of just like moving the wall. Alright, Axe and this guy, I think. Yorin. Because mm, Yorin needs a heal. So does Braxton. Yeah, I like this, and then Amend, I think, will do him well. What are these guys packing? Iron Blade, Javelin, Shine, Light, Steel Axe. Alright, so... These monks are going to be a little scary to deal with. They might go for the Armor Knight up... One of them might go for the Armor Knight up there. It's provided that, like, none of these guys have too much damage. So I think... Yeah, Braxton can go down here. Look at the big damage from this guy. Okay, yeah. Now we're going to get a big mend on him from Lenora. Big damage, big heals. That's how that's how you play fire, boys. Now, let's see. So yeah, so we're gonna do this little mending. Now, I'm trying to think of who I want to position. That's a nice heal. I want to see who do I want to position here, because I don't want Yorn running point, because I think he'll just get absolutely poo pooed on with his one res. Um, there's part of me that wants to just go in on the monk, because that's gonna be scary. It's not something that you normally will hear any fire emblem players say. It's like we gotta get rid of the scary monks. But it's the world we live in right now, boys. And these guys all have swords, which is scary. Um, Hugo cannot one-hit, which is sad. Um, how did Mel you seem to do here? We could do... That's actually a pretty cushy hit rate. Um, yeah, I think Mel you seen up here. I think this is the most important move to try out first. If we get this, then Ava can dispatch this guy pretty quickly. Yeah, pretty safely. Actually, I might just do this anyway. Yeah, this is probably... Because then I can do this. Yeah, I like this play. All right, so let's do this. Trade. Let's stick with the Iron Sword here. Kristoff, something big. Nope. 
Alright. Trying to do something big. Alright, now let's, um... Yeah, let's do this here. I think I just want to set a Fugo to block, honestly. Magic, luck, res, HP. Always nice. Okay, now... Maybe kids, let's see. Who needs a heal? I'm so irrationally scared of monks, man. Because you're... Because mm, I kind of want to trade over the Iron Sword, but we can just do the Steel Sword. Ava should be fine here, yeah. Crit. I could have done the Calx, but whatever. I'm sure I'll be saying that once I have to reset. Yeah, whatever. Alright, now... Okay, because now, yeah, let's, um, let's see here. Jordan may as well squeeze out a little bit more out of this guy. Just going back and forth. And then Sylvia. Now, if Hugo is here, and that puts us in a pretty good spot. Kind of a funky formation, but seven. Let's see, seven. Let's see. How much do you do? Thirteen minus. So you're doing eleven. How much luck do you have, though? Decent luck, eleven, and then you're doing twenty-one minus six, so that's seventeen. A little dicey here for Hugo. Plus this guy's seven. I think here probably. Mm, then Mel you see it's open on two fronts. I think I trust Hugo's survivability just a little bit more. Alright, let's uh, just wait. Okay, Armor Knight's gonna chug along now. These guys are like, alright, Tori fled. Okay. Oh yeah, thankfully these green units are existing to sponge them away. Okay, that's not a bad outcome, actually. Just block this guy. Oh, it goes for Ava. Okay, interesting. Nice, no crit. I'm pretty sure Ava has, like, the best res on my team right now, besides Tori and the mages. Does Ava have Provoke or something? I still don't understand. Um, Alright. That's fine. This guy's gonna keep chugging and running away to heal. Alright, now we're getting to the point of the map where Raisin and Russell are going to just cause disturbances, so I think the move is going to be to rescue them with our calves, and the calves are just going to chill. The Cavaliers. Because yeah, otherwise those two guys just will charge down, so this is like one of those issues with green units. Now there's really not too much left. We just have to pull O'Reilly and Aaron. So what I learned recently about Chapter 4X, so credits to Pushwall. Um, he said that those villages you can get in 4X, there's, there's a Killer Axe village and a Short Spear village. If you visit those villages, they'll show up with those weapons in their inventory. That's super unclear. Um, and now I recall like actually having one when the last time I played. So I guess that's your incentive to play those maps, is to get these items. But it's super, super unclear, um, which I'm not crazy about. Let's see. Don't like that crit rate on you. Let's see. Yeah, what do we get? Ava up to speed here. Okay, 
Do you want to get... Alright, now, yeah. We want to get Vance in range to talk to Aaron. So I'm thinking, yeah, this is, this is fine. And then we're going to rescue Russell out of there. But I want to get the hit, and I'll give this to someone else. Ooh, look at you, Vance. I mean, I guess it was a 45. I shouldn't be so incredibly impressed, but... Let's see. Now... I think Samuel needs to get some action here. Yeah. Alright, now... Yep, get out of here, Russell. Braxton. So now our calves are neutralized. They're just gonna be doing that the whole time. Hugo. Who is Buck again? I don't even remember that guy. Kristoff got a crit this chapter. <laughs> He's doing something big. Alright, let's see. Yes, yeah, so you and Aaron. Okay, so I can pull this guy with Corbin. Kristoff. Let's uh, pull the soldier with a javelin. How do you do here? Oh yeah, this is this is chill. I like this move. Yeah, we'll save that golden ray. We're good now. Yeah, we'll let those green units handle that guy up there. That's chill. Okay, paladin's moving in. Hand axe, armor battle. I love the vanilla armor knights. I know the salvage knight is super smooth, but there's something so classic about these vanilla knight animations. Okay, Tori. Tori should be able to move in comfortably for the kill now with the crystal lance. Armor knights! Rip. Good fight. Oh, hello. Okay, teeing up that kill for me. Thanks, green unit. Aaron doesn't move. Aaron. Aaron. Alright, well, Samuel. Keep him on the forest here. I do think I need to move in on the paladin. The question is how. Um, well, actually, this guy's probably going to distract him. So, I think we'll do this actually. Let's trade you over the Iron Sword. Yeah, this is fine. And then we'll put you here. Lenora? Magic! Skill! Alright. It's gonna be nice. Now, as long as Aaron doesn't actually move... Okay, these guys... Tori should be fine against all these dudes, right? Five damage, zero damage. Oh, we can do this move. Ooh, I like this move! Takes Tori... Er, Puts Sylvia a little out of position, but we can more comfortably one around this guy, and then Tori can come in and get those guys the next phase. Tori just slowly picking apart this left side. Flyers are fun, man. Alright, so we can put Kristoff here. He's ready to do something big. And then now we'll see him there, and then we'll put you two. And now these armors move. Great. Nice dodge, Ava. Thank you. So many tanks. Alright, good use of the iron sword there.
Yeah, I I really do think that the new like range AI hacks help so much with just making games more player phase oriented because you just know how the enemies are gonna move. And in these old ones, you really don't, which is a shame. Okay. Now then, Aaron's still in place. Ooh, can we get... Kristoff? Something big. Nice. Kristoff. Using the weapon triangle. Coming in with the big chip damage. So our homeboy Samuel actually... Maybe Vance here. Short Blade Vance? Because I do... Or maybe... Because I do want to get rid of these Arbor Knights as well. And you can comfortably one round them. Can you do anything here? What does Hugo do? Not great. Alright, so... Yeah, because you can probably get rid of these guys too, pretty easily. Yep. Okay, so... Maybe... I want Corbin up there, so yeah, I think Short Blade Vance here is the move. Just to make sure this guy's out of there. I could have gotten Short Blade in the Armor Knight, but I don't want Vance to take a counter. Just trying to one round. Samuel and Melusin can do this a little bit more comfortably. So... That's my, my justification. Melusin does not seem to one round either of these guys. Which one can you one round? This guy you one round. So Samuel can do this. It just shows you how much better Adam at Helms are, man. FE7 did... I guess Fire Emblem in general does not like light magic. Not a great level, but I'll take some more bulk. The back end is important too. Now, Melly scene. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, it would be nice to have some like armor slaying type weapons, but they probably wouldn't be super effective here. So magic does the job. Um, let's see, what are you packing? A steel sword. All right, let's see. Everyone's pretty good here. Corvin. I'm a little worried about getting Corvin so far up. Nope. Worth a shot. Now I regret getting rid of the Javelin. Probably. I'm preparing for the enemy phase here. But I probably should have just gone for the kill on this monk. But it's not a big deal. Um, let's see. Steel Lance, Crystal Lance, Flux. I think this is pretty safe. Yeah, let's just get rid of this guy. Don't want to deal. Okay. Corvin. It was in a pretty rough spot there. So is Samuel, if I'm being honest. Let's see here. How many hits can he take? So this is going to be 17 minus 9, so that's... 17 minus 9 is... Why am I drawing a blank? 8. Yeah. 8 damage, and then you're taking potentially 19 minus 6. So that's 13, so that's 21. 
or... Yeah, okay, so you'll live, provided Aaron doesn't actually move. In which case, I feel a little bit better about putting Tori... Not Tori, Ava. Ava can go here, I guess. There's actually no, no reason to. See here how this goes. All right. Ooh, coming up up close and personal. No recovery AI. Nice double. Getting that low percentage hit. Oof. Bad level up though. Whatever. Oh wait, you could one round though. Ooh, good dodge. That might have saved you. Yeah, Samuel's gonna Blitzkrieg to death, isn't he? Man, that was not smart, but... This would have been a good turn in retrospect to drop off Russell and Raisin in front. Dodge it? Okay. You do you avoided death. All we just need to do... I really hope Prime does better than to make Aaron move. Because he could have attacked me so many times already. Up close... Even this super effective magic damage does not do much, but I think Tori still has a little bit of the pure water. Alright, Tori's gonna clean that up next turn. Goes for Corvin, okay. Please don't move, Aaron. Yes! Green units, save us. Alright, now. Do this. Hugo. Lenore, Lenore will come down to heal. But I love to see Hugo doubling, even if it's against only a shaman. Now, Corvin's gonna step aside here. I feel up Lenore, because she's gonna be in the line of fire here. Stoff's ready. Something big. Alright, let's get these guys up here. And then, boom. Alright. Tori doing some nice work over on the left side. We'll give her credit where credit's due. Alright, now let's see. Alright, green units. This guy's gonna charge in. Okay. Talk. Ooh. Why aren't you attacking? Can I ask you the same thing? You're hesitating. Haven't seen you move at all. <laughs> it's like, I know what your AI is, bro. Got something on your mind? You know from experience what a troubled soldier looks like. You look like a mercenary. What would you know about being a soldier? Because I used to be one. The problem is that it wasn't what I wanted to be. Family and community tend to force you into things. Then you deserted? Yeah. But now you work for Sabaris. Doesn't seem like anything has changed. Depends on how you look at it. Now I decide who to work for. If I don't like how they do things, I'm out. I've worked for Sibaris because I believe in their cause. You think Sibaris is in the right? That Axum has duped everyone? I know that's the truth. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd know too. Your general, what's he like? Raisin is a man of integrity. If there's anyone I could actually call at night, it's him. Sibaris' story is difficult to believe. However, you claim your leader has honor and integrity. Most of the command of the servicers, officers I've served did not. Leadership's important, guys. Oh, here we go. I'm tired of fighting for causes I don't believe in. And I'm tired of officers who seek power, not justice, and fight with me. Helps to beat those power hunger tools. You can stop them and save Pandosia. Alright. My name's Aaron. I'm Vance, and I lead a mercenary troop. Aaron, you made the right choice. Those words are really nice to hear. Thank you. Alright, so now... I gotta get O'Reilly. O'Reilly. What is it, lad? We need to stay sharp out here. Riley, I can't keep doing this. Can't keep fighting for Axum. Not with its current leadership. I was wondering when this would come up. Couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> Most of the lot are just out for power. So what are you going to do? Going to fight with Sibaris. Had a change of heart. Well then I better come with you. 
You're too wishy-washy to be left alone. Someone's gotta look after you. Ha. Ha ha ha. What's so funny, lad? Riley, thanks for being an honest friend. Thank me this is all over and we're still alive. Now let's get to fighting. Alright, so this is actually pretty solid here. Oh, we have O'Reilly! He's about to go off! Who's this guy packing? Crystal Sword, Steel Lance... Can Tori take hits from these guys? Twelve... Six... Mm. Not crazy about the odds here, but... Give it a go. Because you probably don't... Let's see. Alright, so first order of business is getting O'Reilly the heck out of dodge here. Can he one-run this mage? He's so close. Um... Oh, I know what to do. This is going to be the meanest strat ever. Um... Alright, so... Thank you, Lenora. You go take this guy. Wait, can you pick this guy up? Yes, you can. Alright, so... Braxton. To the wolves, we feed you. When in doubt, sack green units. Alright, let's see. Everyone else is going to slowly creep their way in. Kristoff's going to wait in deck. Wait to do something big. Alright, now... I should heal up Samuel very soon, because he's in a bit of a danger spot. But I think we'll be okay. Okay, Tori. Tori can do this. Nice dodge. I like the spot for her because it prevents them from taking advantage of terrain. Even if Tori herself doesn't get advantage, but it's fine. Nice dodge. Okay. Perfect. You just fought well, green unit. Alright, now... We can do the same thing later, if we need to. O'Reilly time. O'Reilly time! O'Reilly can one run this guy, right? Yeah, we gotta get O'Reilly in on this. So, I really want to try using O'Reilly. I didn't use him last time, but he's such a he's such a fun character, just conceptually. Who doesn't love like the aging axe fighter out of retirement? Look at these stats: 14, 11, 11. I mean, we need to see here. 13, 11, 9. Like he outclasses Hugo with two levels less, pretty much. O'Reilly's got a nice, simple palette, too. So many characters I want to use, man. Alright, now... Yeah, let's try this out. Good stuff. Good stuff, Vance! Alright, now I care who we're gonna get the boss kill, too. So at least here Tori gets some healing. She doesn't need it right now. She's insane. Alright. Ava for the boss kill? Yeah, I could do this. Siberian fools burn in righteous fury. Alright, Othrell. Thankfully, there's no, like, funky skills here, so Ava can do this pretty safely. Russell, alright, so you're fine. How does Samuel do against this guy? Not great. 
Uh, no, you on the scene though. Kristoff's getting ready to come in for the boss kill. Nah. Nah. All right. Um, yep, this is this is good. I'm down with this move. Just let Ava just keep on working this guy. All right, Ava's gonna peel. Peel for a heal. Okay, Tori, Tori, dude, excellent work. I kind of want to give the boss kill to Tori, but I mean she's probably best suited for dealing with the mage. See, look at those mid heal. Um, how do you do here? Yeah, I mean look at that. Um, the crystal lance. So we'll get you out of there. It's not spectacular, but O'Reilly. Riley to then Tori maybe? No, O'Reilly. I would try this. We could we could make the move happen. Samuel, let's go. Nice! Alright. Now we still have room to rescue these guys out. Come on, O'Reilly. O'Reilly! Alright, alright. Now, we can end it this turn. This ends now. This has to end now. Or else Braxton's kind of screwed. Uh, or we can do Melu first. Yeah, I'd be down to try Melu out on this. Alright, easy. This can't be happening. Oh, it can. We just hit you with a bunch of really subpar hit rates. Good level. Wow. Master Seal? Look at that icon. Alright, let's just get some big heals in. Okay, and then that's about a, that's a wrap, boys. We did it. Excellent job taking them down. Taking them by down. Oh, that's an interesting sentence. We've secured the gate, now to storm the castle. What do you think? Is Valmore in there? We're itching to give him a piece of our minds. Frankly, I doubt he's here. It's more likely that he's at the capital, safe and sound. You really want to take him down, don't you? Well, here's the way I see all of this. We fought for him and completed all our assignments. We did the best job we could. But as soon as he thinks we're near the truth, that we're minutely close to uncovering his plot, he orders us dead. I don't take an employer trying to kill me lightly. Nor should you. I understand your frustration, Vance. Let's just not lose sight of our goal. This isn't a mission of revenge. We're fighting to expose Axum and to liberate this land from tyranny. I hear you. We'll find Valmar eventually. I just keep fighting until we do. So what's our next? Wait, look over there. All right, man. Get into formation. We'll reinforce Castle Minar. Let's show Sebaris how real soldiers fight. Benjamin, we have company. Damn, someone slipped away and got help. Looks like it's more fighting for us. All right. You and I will take care of things here. Merc, take your team and get inside. Let's see what kind of force holding out in there. Can't have fools popping out behind us. Got it. We'll secure the inside as quick as we can. Let's move out. Fighting just never seems to end, does it? Well, if Axum weren't so damn stubborn, we'd be done. We can go home and have a nice relaxing time. It just ain't meant to be a raisin. Don't let me tell you you're already throwing the towel. Of course not. It just strains your mind and body, you know? Start to ask yourself if this is all there is. Yeah, I hear ya. It's a rough gig we've got. But don't quit just yet, you hear? We need ya. I wouldn't dream of it. All these gruff axemen, man. Good, now let's kick some- <laughs> let's get out there and kick some arse! <laughs> After you then, Russell. Damn straight. Come here, Axumians. Alright. Sibaris Castle. Look at those little forts. 
Is that Ulrigar? My king, urgent news. What is it? An envoy from Tyrans has arrived. They wish to speak with you. Tyrans, send them in at once. Your Majesty King Dalman, it is a pleasure. I am Colonel Ulrigar. I come on behalf of King General Hornsgoth. What a name! The pleasure is likewise, though unexpected. To what have I this occasion? We of Tyrans have learned some, of some interesting news. The Holy Land, Orontes, now stands against you. Yes, a dire turn of events. Perhaps, but it does not have to stay that way. My King General has a proposition for you to consider. As you may know, our relationship with Orontes contains friction. We do not agree with their way of government. And in turn, we hold no stock in their worship of goddesses. I'm listening, then go on. My King General believes this to be an excellent opportunity, one that would allow us to confront our critics. You would go to war over a disagreement? Excuse my impoliteness, but it seems extreme. We're also aware of Axum scheming. Merivik has been busy these past few years. Our informants have told us much. He's been pressing his influence with the other leaders. He has, in one way or another, gained a hold over them. First was his declaration to protect Mora, a so-called symbol of friendship. He also has been sending gifts to leaders of Asteria. We do not know how he persuaded Orontes to his side, however. Regardless, these actions raise several red flags, especially in light of these new recent events. King General Hornsgoth despises Merefic greatly. All gifts sent to him have been denied. So you seek a chance to settle old grudges by siding with us. On one condition, in the event of sufficiently decisive victory, Tyrians will claim all of Axum soil east of River Manum. The river that runs past the famed Castle Minar? That's a large fertile area of land. Rather valuable farming soil able to feed many. Zybaris so noted to claiming the spoils of war. We fight to uphold our honor and the truth. Axum's lies about us cannot go unpunished. If you wish to claim Axum soil, then so be it. We welcome Tyrians to our cause. My King General will be quite pleased with your decision. I'll have one of my men return home with the news. I must admit, I'm curious as to whom I'll be working with. Heard you've instated a new general. Yes, I'm quite pleased with Raisin's leadership. Last I heard he was pressing the attack in Castle Minar. Then I shall depart for this at once, seize, size up your force. Wish to only dispatch as many soldiers as needed. King Dominant, it has been my pleasure. Yes, quite so. Thank you, Colonel. Shall take my leave. The mighty Tyrans. Their motivation seems greedy and hateful. We need all the help we can get. But for nothing drastic happens. Dun 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 dun. It's the road to ruin. Alright, now. That's chapter eight. Fun chapter. Bit of a bit of a bit of a long one. A um, lot of weight and bait. Unfortunately, Tori on the left side kept things interesting. Uh, not really too much else to say that I haven't said already. I've been playing this one for like an hour and a half now. Um, fun chapter. Fun chapter. Uh, good turning point now. Looking forward to the next one. But um, until then, guys. Uh, I guess like my advice, if you're doing that type of map, place the enemies in such a way that you actually want to be able to attack them and not just like moving your wall forward and forward and forward. Like you saw how I was moving throughout the entire chapter where it's like, set up my deep... Set up my defense for them to attack me. Set up my defense. Push a little bit. Push a little bit. Never really moving the max range. And I don't find that personally to be as engaging of a way to play Fire Emblem. It's certainly a safe way to play Fire Emblem. Especially in this game where the damage outputs are pretty low. But all in all, like, try and encourage the player to take action and, like, attack end position versus just purely, like, clean up position, shift the wall forward. Like, moving the goalposts. Moving the goalposts. So that's my read on this map. Fun chapter, though. Um, cool palette. I like the premise, the general layout and design of it. Um, I kind of wish I had like a little bit more to work with on the left side. I could have done some airdrop strats, but I didn't really think it was necessary or safe to do so, especially during the time where it would have made a big difference. But yeah, that's all I got to say here. So that was chapter eight. The march begins. And now I'll see you guys next time for chapter nine, clandestine truths. All right. Until then, guys, my name is Pondon. Enjoy. And I'll see you next time for more The Road to Ruin.